بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از آسن اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کریٹ سمپل فارم یوزنگ فارمیٹر پلگ ان ان ورڈ پریس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ورک اٹس مائی ریکویسٹ پلیز سبسکرائب مائی چینل تھینک یو نو بیک ٹو آور ورک سو وی آر ان ورڈ پریس ڈیش بورڈ سو کرول ڈاؤن آن لیفٹ سائڈ یو سی پلگ ان سو کلک آن ایڈ نیو سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو انسٹال پلگ ان دین ان سرچ پلگ ان رائٹ فارمیٹر so this is plugin form in it contact form payment form and custom form builder we will use so you will install this plugin and activate it and after activation on left side you see form in it so click on it so we are going to create simple form using form in it plugin now form in it dashboard open and scroll down you see form section and then click on create form also on left side you see form now you see pop up choose a template and then you see blank contact us port request registration login and then you see newsletter sign up so click on blank and then click on continue so you can add form name simple form and then click on create button now form is created and scroll down you see edit form so this is our form name and then you see field appearance behavior pdf email notification integration setting you see multiple option and then you see button insert field and then you see preview and publish so first click on insert field so click on it now again you see pop up and then you see message choose which field you want to insert into your form you see name email phone address you see multiple field so we are going to create simple form now select name so click on it and then scroll down you see insert field so again click on it now again pop up open and then you see edit field label setting styling visibility and then you see single and multiple in label tab now you see label name and then you see place holder so you can add place holder according to your requirement and then you see name label and also you see description optional if you want you can add some description for this field if you want you can select multiple like this prefix first name middle name last name now expand it now you see prefix label default drop down mr mrs and different option so you can select according to your requirement and then you see first name also you see middle name and then you see last name if you want you can enable disable according to your requirement like this now you see enable and then you see disable so it's depend on you if you want you can use single and if you want you can use multiple field name now i select single and then you see setting so click on it now setting tab open and then you see required optional required so select required and then you see error message so you can customize error message according to your requirement now you see error message name is required and then you see pre populate so this is optional field so currently we are not using this now scroll up you see styling so click on it and then you see additional css classes if you want you can add some css class so you can customize field style according to your requirement using css class and then you see visibility so click on it now you see option you need more than one field to configure visibility condition by default field always visible and then click on apply now you see name field added so again click on insert field so click on it now again pop up open and now we are going to add email now you see email so click on it so scroll down click on insert field now again pop up open and then you see label email address place holder if you want you can add according to your requirement and then go to setting make it required so you can add error message according to your requirement and then you see validate you see multiple option none and validate field now select validate field so if you want you can add validation message and then you see pre populate now scroll up you see styling visibility now you see we are in visibility tab and then you see rule so currently we have more than one field 
that's why this enable so in next video i will make tutorial for visibility and then click on apply now you see name and email field added now drag and drop like this now you see now form layout in two column name and email address again click on insert field now you see phone if you want you can add now select and then click on insert field now pop up open and then you see label setting if you want you can make it required and then you see validation national international character limit so you can select according to your requirement now you see countries and international default country so it depend on you and then click on apply now again click on insert field now we are going to add subject field now you see input select and then click on insert field now pop up open then change label subject so you can add placeholder according to your requirement subject and then go to styling required and then you see maximum character if you want you can add limit and then click on apply and again click on insert field now you see text area select and then click on insert field now pop up open now you see text label so add a your message and then you see styling if you want you can make it required and if you want you can add rich text editor so enable this option and then click on apply now our simple form is created now first publish now publishing form now you see message ready to go so this is our form short code copy now go to edit page now paste and then click on update now page update done open a new tab now go to form page now you see form name email address phone and then you see phone format and then you see subject your message you see rich text editor and then you see send message now back to edit form now close pop up so our simple form is created now scroll down you see send message so click on it and then you see edit field if you want you can change button text send message also you see error message your form is not valid please fix the error so you can add error message according to your requirement and then you see visibility and styling tab so if you want to change button text you can do it according to your requirement and then click on apply and then you see appearance button also you see appearance button below field so click on it and then scroll down you see design style default this style you see different style flat bold material and then you see none so you can select design according to your requirement and then you see layout for radio and deck box image size so you can select according to your requirement now you see custom 17 px width and 17 px height if you want you can add automatic and then you see color scheme your default color if you want you can add custom color now you see element form container so you can add color scheme according to your requirement now you see font success and then you see border color background color so you can customize design and color scheme according to your requirement you see drop down list also you see font if you want you can use theme font or custom according to your requirement and then you see form container padding border spacing border so you can do setting according to your requirement and then you see behavior also you see here so click on it and then scroll down you see submission behavior after submission inline message if you want you can edit inline message now click on setting button edit behavior now you see inline message so you can add message according to your requirement now you see condition if you want you can add condition and then you see method ajax if you want you can page reload setting enable now you see on submit enable inline validation and then you see auto fill if you want you can enable this setting and then you see security so if you want you can enable honey pot protection enable login submission only so this form only visible for login user now scroll down you see life span expiry and then you see save and continue if you want you can enable this option and then you see retention period 
save as draft so it's depend on you and then you see pdf so this is pro setting and then you see email notification so again click on it now scroll down you see email notification so this is admin email so you can add email according to your requirement now click on it now you see add one email and then you see subject email so you can customize body text according to your requirement you see all field now you see plus insert form field so click on it now you see all form field required field email address phone your message form name so you can select according to your requirement and then you see pdf attachment so this is pro setting now scroll up you see recipient so you can add email according to your requirement if you want you can add multiple emails with comma and then you see advanced setting from name from email also you see condition so you can do setting according to your requirement and then click on add and then you see integration now scroll down now you see application and then you see setting so click on it and scroll down you see data storage if you want you can store form information in database so enable this option and then you see multiple option value of privacy and then click on update so in this way you can create simple form using forminator plugin so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching